What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Ghouls Gaming and Tech channel and today we have a very interesting reveal today. Robots. Tesla has created a robot. They're calling it their Tesla bot, their Tesla AI robot. And it's meant to do some simple things that we might not want to do and assist us on our daily living. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Where have we seen this before? Please understand, the three laws are all that guide me. We robots will ensure mankind's continued existence. You are so like children. We must save you from yourselves. Don't you understand? This is why you created us. Without any further ado, as always, subscribe, share, like, comment, hit that bell for notifications, and hopefully I can provide you guys with some information that you might want to know just in case there's a robot apocalypse. Move now. I'm going to service. Please remain indoors. This is for your own protection. Please return to your home. Occurring Now, Elon started the show with a kind of a joke. When the robot was revealed, this human basically walked on stage, and we pretty much knew that this was not the actual robot. And then it began dancing and doing, you know, non robot things just to poke fun at the idea. But later, Elon got on stage and definitely verified that the AI robot is actually a real thing and it's actually coming and in production. They've already created a robot and had it on display at this event to show everyone, hey, this is something we're serious about and this is something that we actually are pushing forward. So as you can see, Tesla revealed some interesting factors and information about the robot. It is called the Tesla bot. The height will be 5'8", about a normal human being height. The carrying capacity will be about 45 pounds, so it should be able to do daily functions as far as those simple and minute tasks. The weight on it is 125, and I would assume that is because you don't want a heavy machine that's going to be portable and moving out and about. You don't want it to be too heavy and it will restrict it in certain aspects. So having a lighter weight definitely makes sense. The deadlift, 150 pounds. 150 pounds is a good amount of weight to be able to deadlift. And as you can see, Elon put a little joke in there saying it's meant to be quote unquote friendly. And that's just poking fun at the famous movie, I, Robot, starring Will Smith. The suicidal reign of mankind has finally come to its end. Let her go. And not poke fun in a bad way, just to say we all know how that movie happened and ended. And also it states that it's supposed to eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. So, for example, if you need to go to the grocery store, maybe grab some small items and you don't feel like going, maybe in those situations you can send out a robot. Now, how much this is going to cost, we don't know that, he didn't reveal that yet, and I'm pretty sure this robot is still in production, but I will imagine it's going to be a hefty price tag to get one of these robots in your home. It might even cost more than a car. So, be prepared, this is not something you're going to see everywhere. The screen has all the registering information coming into it, feeding it, labeling things, and processing it. The robot also has a full self-driving computer in it, autopilot cameras, so on and so forth, auto labeling, and everything else that you would need. Now for more of the technical details, it has 40 electromechanical actuators, it has 12 arms, 2 torsos, 12 legs, 2 necks, and 12 hands. Now these aren't actual hands and actual legs, these are just the small mechanical parts within the robot to help it function. Now, the big question is, will this robot actually go in production? Now, if you follow the trends of Tesla and Elon Musk in the past, this is 100% going to be in production. They already have a robot to put on display at this event. So I would imagine within the next seven to 10 years that this robot will be in people's homes. Now, this is going to be a very high-end item and I don't expect it to be in every home and for everyone to be able to afford it, but we will see these in real world time. But as always, thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate it and make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.